the treatment landscape is uh, changing and moving very quickly in multiple myeloma. And this is uh, a good news, of course, uh, because uh, some unmet clinical needs are solved. But at the same time, we are producing new clinical needs and new unmet clinical needs. So what I'm referring to in particular is the fact that uh, our current guidelines are recommending the use of triplet or quadruplet upfront both for patients that are intended for transplant, but also non-transplant eligible patients, which are based on the free main pillars uh, of agents uh, for the use of multiple myeloma. So I mean, uh, referring to proteasome inhibitors, immunomodulatory agents, and anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies. So what does this mean? That most of the patients currently are exposed and even refractory to those three classes of agents very early on. And so currently we have a lot of options that are indicated according to the line of treatment and not to the refractoriness or sensitivity to the different drugs. So this is an issue because we know that we can use some triple combination in fourth line, fifth line, and not earlier on, while those patients are becoming triple and pentarefractory very early on. We know that the outcomes, survival outcomes, but also possibility to acquire a response for patients that are treated with standard of care, which are triple or pentarefractory, is extremely poor. So the probability of response is around 30%. Uh, the median progression free survival is around four to six months, and the overall survival is below 12 months. So the, there is where we need. Uh, drugs with a new mechanism of actions or new combination, something completely different. We also know that what is recommended is to alternate and to change mechanism of action when it's possible. So at the first relapse, currently for patients which are relapsing after Dalal index, for example, or in the future with the introduction of ISA VRD after ISA RD, we will have and we are having a huge unmet clinical need because we would like to use PI combination and the currently approved until now PI combination are not that optimal and are not based on such much different mechanism of action. So in this context, uh, we may have a combination, for example, like a Selinex or Veldex, which is a triplet combination based on a PI but also on a new oral uh, drug with a new mechanism of action, which is Selinexor, which is the first-in-class export inhibitor. And this combination proved to be effective by the second line of treatment. So that's a, a setting where we have an unmet need and we also have an opportunity to change mechanism of action with a a drug which demonstrated single agent activity and which have a specific mechanism of action for plasma cells. So you can go and download the slide deck available to just see what I have mentioned to and allude to. So a sort of summing up of the main unmet clinical need in the treatment of relapsed refractory multiple myeloma.